We've tried to develop a unique set of settings and applications, but actually they're derived from very common ergonomic functions. So in the collection we have a series of chairs, we have a series of tables, and we have also have a series of enclosures derived to deliver sort of elements of privacy. We were trying to achieve a kind of visual consistency across the collection. And so we started to use this 108 degree angle as a sort of subtle feature within the development of language. So for instance, the lampshades have that same angle. The power module on the tabletop shares that same angle. Some of the leg features share that same angle. It's just a subtle sort of repetition of a geometry that we think helps to sort of knit together the collection. This has a sort of a relaxed logic in terms of the footprint and the layout that you might achieve architecturally with the other products, but this is very much intentional. It's intentional because we want it to be loose fit. We don't want these things to be butted up hard against everything. When we were building the mock-ups, we actually didn't try and think about a logic of planning, but more in terms of what felt right when you were inside and outside the spaces. So we've layered a kind of critical understanding of work style with a kind of craft expression that's practical but warm. So for example, the use of timber is very important in that because there's a softness, there's a texture, and there's a character in timber that you can't get in, in painted surfaces. And then you mix that with textile and you really have a, a richness in the provision of the settings, which is very interesting. You're combining very complex kind of macro issues but delivering the solution very simply. It is a lovely mix that we're continually trying to sort of find. And it has to feel simple because at the end of the day we don't want to have to tell people how to do things or how to use it. They have to just intuitively get on with it. So it doesn't matter how sophisticated the backstory is, the end result has to be self-evident. And I think that's a lovely outcome which when we achieve that, um, that's when we feel satisfied.